Okay, welcome to this video on more interactive uh, HTML5 Canvas stuff. What I've got here, I've got the blue square, which I called a cube on the last uh, video, but we can make them cubes. Uh, and what I'm going to do is click on it now, and when I click on it, notice that it looks like the whole square moves now. It's not just getting longer. So every time I click on it, the square moves and it'll keep on moving till it gets to the end of the canvas element. So let's see what it looks like when it gets to the end of the canvas element. And we'll also see how we did it. So I keep clicking and look, there it goes. It's disappearing now because the canvas element ends right here. So as I keep clicking, it wants to keep going to the right and pretty soon, goodbye, that's the end of it. And if I refresh this, there it is again and I can start doing the same thing over again. I can start clicking on it. <clears throat> so let's see how that worked. Let's go. Let's go and look at the code. I did the same trick that I did in the previous uh, video on on this, and uh, I put a uh, a script in the body right down here, just like I did before, and that gave the initial conditions. So when I refresh, I get the blue uh, square. Um, and however, now when I do the on click and I get move it. What I changed was the move it um, uh, function. This guy right here. This is what I changed. I also changed the initial value of x to be 10. Here's the reason for that. Just like, just like if you come down here when I go to draw it, it's 10. The reason why is that I'm going to change the fill style of the canvas to white. And then I'm just going to draw over the blue one that was there in the exact same location, 10 here in this case. And so now it, it'll be the same as the background color of the canvas. So since the background color was white, I'm making a, 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 a square uh, the same size as the other one in the same location, just painting it white. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the value of x by 5, x plus equals 5. And now I'm going to change the fill style to blue. And now x is 5 more pixels to the right, and now I'm going to fill it again. So it'll look like the whole thing moved to the right. Okay, so uh, let's just go and see how that works. And here, here we are. And there's the initial conditions, which comes from the script that's in the body element. And when I click on it, there it goes. What it's really doing, it's repainting over here the old position as white, and then repainting uh, the, the new position, which is blue. Okay, so the trick was, this part right here where I, I paint over it and then I, I increment it and then I change the color and now I paint over it again. And it happens so quickly it gives the illusion that it's moving. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.